All right let's start. Delete this cube. Press Shift A add a plane. And scale it by 5. Now right click and subdivide the plane. Now let's go to shading. Press Shift A to add an image texture. Press Shift D to duplicate the image texture node. Now open the first texture that you want to mix. Take only the diffused image. Now open the second texture that you want to mix. Press Shift A, and add a mix RGB. Now add another image texture, but this time click on the new button and name it as Mask. Keep all other things as default and click on OK. Now let's go to Texture Paint. Select the Mask Texture from the drop-down list if it is not already selected. Now go to Rendered Mode to see the result, and start painting. As you can see it is too sharp, so for that I will reduce the strength. To give the plane some more shape, I am going to sculpt mode, and do some sculpting to make it look like dirt. Press F, to adjust the size of the brush. To make the surface smooth, go to Object Mode, select the plane, right-click and press Shade Smooth. Now it's time to add some roughness. Go to Shading Tab. Click on Mix RGB, and press Shift D to duplicate it. Do the same with image textures. Duplicate them two times, because we are going to need roughness maps of both the textures. Now open the roughness map of the first texture. Now open the roughness map of the second texture. Join those roughness maps to mix RGB. Now join the mask node that we created earlier to the factor of mix RGB. 
and join it to the roughness. Now let's add some bump, duplicate the mix RGB, and those image nodes just like before. Open the normal map of the first texture. And open the normal map of the second texture. Now join both the textures to the mix RGB, and also join the mask texture that we created to the factor of mix RGB. For joining normal maps, we need to add a normal map node. So press Shift A and add a normal map node. Join color to color and normal to normal. Now you can see realistic bumps on the texture. 